Hello friends, this is Adam with the Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Blu-ray edition of Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification to put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I'll put a link for that in the description. All right, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, is on 4K Blu-ray. And as far as the movie itself goes, I, I'm kind of with the general consensus. I don't feel it's as good or strong as the original Jack Reacher. It's it's it feels less kind of methodical and more uh, in the action heavy kind of you know f fugitive genre. Um, that's not to say it's a bad movie. In fact, I did enjoy it quite a bit. I think there's plenty of action. There's a lot of good. Um, there's a lot of good rapport between Tom Cruise and Kobe Smulders. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of her, of course, you know, from, you know, the Avengers films and How I Met Your Mother. So I thought she handled herself really good here. And just the overall story, as I mentioned, not as strong as the first one, but it still was compelling enough and it, it still brought me in. I would say I think the uh, overall, the, the, um, the antagonist uh, of, the of the first film was better. Uh, Jai Courtney in that one was really good. This one, he, you know, honestly, just not quite uh, there. But it's still, it's still a good, enjoyable action flick. And if you're a fan of the first one, I think you'll enjoy this one as well. All right, now enough about that. Let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. But first, let's do a quick unboxing. All right, we have the standard edition of Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. Uh, unfortunately, my copy did not include a slipcover edition, which really stinks, but uh, this one did originally come with one at, you know, when during the initial run. So here we go, front cover, back cover, and then our spine, and then just your basic black blue disc. So that's it. All right, that's it for the unboxing. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Jack Reacher, Never Go Back, was apparently shot on film and finished at a 2K DI. So this is going to be another upscale 4K release, and it supports HDR10. Now, that being said, I think overall that the film grade is managed well here. I think it's not too obtrusive, and it really it adds that extra layer for us cinephiles that appreciate good film grain, but I, I don't think it's too strong for those that are opposed to it. But I think overall it's handled here very well. Now, as far as the uh, HDR content, I think it, I think I think it does look really good. I think nighttime scenes in particular are the strongest aspect of this release. I think any kind of light contrasting uh, onto the the nighttime scenes look really good. You know, anything from police siren lights to you know neon signs to the atmosphere of, of New Orleans. Uh, you know, it's just it all looks really good at night. I think they are very very strong in that regard. I would say daytime scenes look a little bit washed out uh, comparatively. You know, to a to a properly calibrated TV. You know, that's something that can still stand out uh, for depending on the sources. Uh, I have plenty of films that I review here that that is not the case. So I absolutely think it's more of the source material here. It, it's just a couple scenes, you know, uh, that take place during the daytime. It just look a little bit uh, washed out in that way. But I think overall, it's still very strong. Detail is also given a nice significant, significant bump. Everything, skin textures, clothing, it all looks really good. Up close shots in particular look great. Um, and color is nice. It, uh, it looks natural, but then those other scenes, as for the aforementioned police lighting and just the, uh, the streets of New Orleans also look great. Uh, that contrast against the black of uh, the nighttime scenes looked really good. I think overall it's a very nice presentation picture quality wise. Just a couple issues with the daytime scenes, but other than that, I think it's a, it's a very good use of HDR in 4K. For the audio of the 4K disc, we're given a Dolby Atmos soundtrack, and it handles itself fairly nicely. It's a really nice overall experience. Uh, center channel dialogue is clear, easy to understand. The fronts, they sound great. There's a lot of activity that happens up front, and that sound stage is properly utilized. Mid-levels and rear speakers are also nicely used, 
uh, everything from activity of like during action scenes to the streets of New Orleans, rain, those kind of special amb ambient effects. They really sound great here and are nice, nicely rendered and they're very well utilized. Uh, the LFE is very aggressive, kicks in everything from punches to, to uh, gunfire. It's all, it, it's got a great oomph to it. It's very strong in that regard. Uh, the height speakers are, are used sparingly. They're used through a couple of key moments. Uh, just, but they are there and they're very present and I think you'll be very pleased. Uh, overall, I'm very happy with the audio experience here. For the picture quality, I'm going to go ahead and give this one an A-. minus. I think it's very strong, especially during the nighttime scenes. HDR renders those black levels really nicely. Color level, skin detail, the textures, they all look really good. But I think a couple washed out scenes uh, during the daytime just brings the score overall down a little bit. Now, as far as the audio mix goes, I'm going to give this one a solid A. It's very punchy. It's got a good Dolby Atmos experience. Everything's utilized fairly nicely. All the action moments are, are rendered well, and it's really going to pull you into the overall experience of the film. I think it's a, it's a very good audio experience for what we get on the 4K. So that is my review of Jack Reacher. Never go back on 4K. Let me know in the comments below if you're a fan of the movie and if you have the 4K, what do you think of it? In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.